Pass SQL exam 70-461, Programming SQL Server 2012. This is Karl Mantorth. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com and also in your local bookstore. Let's consider a simple recursive CTE. This is the definition of a CTE and we are aliasing the return column as a sequence number. So this is the anchor member of the recursive CTE and this is the recursive member this is the recursive call of the CTE and this is the termination condition. It should stop at 1 million. This is the outer query or the main query actually. Each CTE use requires a main query or outer query just the CTE by itself is not an executable statement. We need the max recursion set, otherwise it's not going to do the recursion for a high number such as million. Let's go to SQL Server Management Studio and execute it. Execute and we are only selecting using the top function the first 100 of the million result set. Actually to make it to a million we need the equal sign here otherwise only 999,999. Execute. And um, this is one way of uh, generating a sequence in Transact SQL programming. In summary, recursive CTEs can be used in uh, many applications. One example is generating a sequence recursively. This is the end of a short demo.